Hey guys, this is BWP293, and I'm going to be doing a diecast review on Dale Jr.'s 2001 uh, MLB All Star Game card. But not this one. On the 124th scale version. Um, I guess I'll go over the box just because this will be one of the few times I say it, but this is actually a pretty cool box. Um, uh, we'll look at the top here. Uh, it's got MOB, uh, Del Jr. hoisting the trophy. Um, so you got the MOB hologram, Dale Earnhardt Jr., uh, him and Michael. Um, race version, Revell Collection, uh, Daytona winner, July 7, 2001. Him on top of the car, Michael's in the grass. Everybody's having a good time. They're in victory lane. Yeah, they won. Um, Ravel Collection, Dale Earnhardt Jr., uh, MLB All-Star Game, uh, race version. Um, yeah. I saw this earlier. It says 2014 on the box. That's pretty funny. Um, 124th scale adult collectible, officially licensed by NASCAR. Uh, 2001 Budweiser, uh, MLB All-Star Chevrolet Monte Carlo race win. Um, and then I'll show you this. Uh, one of four... 40,008. They got to add that extra eight in. Um, Revell Collection and then Daytona win, uh, July 7, 2001 race version. All star paint scheme with relic scratches, bumps, and trading from trading paint on the racetrack. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, he ran his car in the All Star race too, I believe, that year. Uh, I think he did. I don't know, I'll have to go back and check. Um, so here's the 124 scale. Uh, this is actually my mom's car. Um, she bought it about a year ago. Uh, I think it was like 80 some dollars. Um, but I mean, it's worth it. It was one of those feel good days in NASCAR where Junior just had the dominant car and it was right after or the race at Daytona after Dale died and all that. And it was just awesome. Um, and no, guys, it was not fixed. Don't, don't be a dick, okay? Like, good things can happen, and they, Junior can win, and they won't be fixed, all right? Like, I hate it when people say that race was fixed. No, it wasn't. Just shut up. Go fucking masturbate Jimmy Johnson. I don't know. Um, Budweiser, All-Star Game 2001, um, Chevrolet, number eight, Monte Carlo, um, Number eight, um, Dale Earnhardt Jr. with the North Carolina flag and the DEI logo, like, right there. Um, Champion Spark Clubs, uh, Van Camp, Beans, and then Sherwin Williams. Then Budweiser, Snap-On. Um, I can't read what's down here. I tried earlier, and I couldn't. Um, I didn't try real hard, but I don't, I don't really care. It's not that important. Uh, the Outlaw, I forget what that is. I think it's, like, something. What is it? Oh, no, I used to have a can of it. A long time ago, um, with Junior on it. Um, Safety Clean, Remington, uh, MLB Authentic, uh, Budweiser, uh, MLB on Fox, uh, Official Beers. Official Beer. I think it's funny that this was the first race in 2001 that uh, NBC or TNT, whatever it was back then, took over for NASCAR after Fox did, and this car has Fox on it pretty funny um here's the the awesome side of the car um before we get to that we'll go over the paint scheme uh red and white car obviously um he's got the you know like threads on a baseball going around the bottom of the car it's got the silver baseball guy and he's got a bat here and you know yeah it's basically the same on the other side um I, except i think he's throwing a ball on the other side i'll show you in a minute um, same on the side and then around the window trim it's red um, it's a pretty simple paint scheme but it works it's a great car um, I think it's funny uh, I was looking at this the other week and or not the other week but well it was about a week ago I was just looking at it uh, before he won the 500 this year he had won twice at Daytona in the points race. It was this race and then the Daytona 500 and 04. You look at the two cars, this one and the 04 500 car, they are very similar looking. It's some of that Illuminati type shit. No, I'm just kidding. 
but they do look very similar. The Born on Date car from 04 and the MLB All-Star Game car for 01. And, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so we'll go over the race win aspect of this car. Uh, you can't really see it, but it, I mean, you can kind of see it. It's a little bit darker down here from dirt and grime and all that shit. Um, same on the, I mean, here's a tire mark right there. Wear, tire wear or something, I don't know. Um, on the spoiler, you see it's silver right there and red, I don't know. Um, on the back, there's not much at all. But it does have the wicker. Love the wicker. I don't know why. Like, wicker's pretty cool. I think that was like the last year they ran a wicker, or second to last year they ran a wicker. Alright, and there's where the dude, he's throwing the ball now. Okay. He's throwing, man, this dude, he's like, look, I mean, this dude, whoa, almost dropped the car. Uh, this dude, he, ru he runs, you know, around the bases, he hits the ball. He throws the ball. This dude, he's on it, man. Um, and then, you know, you got the big-ass uh, scrape on the side or tire mark or whatever you want to call it. Um, looks like a tire mark. Um, dirt and tire wear around there. And then this right there. It's one of the main reasons I love this car is because of that right there. That's why I want to get Kurt Busch's Martinsville win from this year because pretty badass looking because it's got that big big paint scrape on the side of damage and stuff um so yeah there's that um and paints the that's what really that's why i love this car it's because it's got that and it's just an awesome car awesome day in nascar um you see i mean the 164 i have the 164 rebel right here yeah um i'll show you a comparison between um, Lionel and Ravel as far as engine. Here, I got Harvick. I got a little Daytona display set up. Like, I got the Harvick red, white, and blue cars. Um, junior Stars and Stripes. A couple of Junior Baseball cars. It's Dirty Mo Posse and his race win for Mo 06 when he won the nationwide race at Daytona. Um, the uh, Wrangler car. And then his. Uh, camo and then the red, white, and blue car that he's running the July race. All right, engine comparison. Um, and then Harvard ran this car in 11 in the nationwide race there. Anyway, engine comparison. Um, you can't really tell, but there's a heck of a lot less engine detail on this car than on this car. I mean, it's very it's a lot less detail, which I mean, this is 2001, this is 2011, 10 year difference. And this was before really uh, action and line, whatever you want to call them, really got into, you know, hood open cars and all that crap. Uh, back of the car, see the trunk, and then the trunk in there. Um, yeah. Roof flaps don't open on the junior car. That's unfortunate, but I mean, you know, limited technology I guess at the time or something but yeah so that's my review on Dale Earnhardt Jr's 2001 MLB all-star game car um, that was just it was a great day in NASCAR um, you know I'm not gonna go on this whole 20 30 minute rant about how you know oh it's so great cuz Dale died and then junior I mean we all know it's great we don't need to say it um, so yeah Awesome looking car, great day in NASCAR, and uh, comment, rate, subscribe, see you guys later.